In this test tube, water is being split into oxygen and hydrogen. It is a process that normally requires a great deal of energy, yet here it is being achieved using light alone. It is a scientific sensation and possibly the future of energy supply. This project is being led by Dr. Erwin Reisner. The Austrian lectures and conducts research in Cambridge, home to one of Britain's best universities. And it is from here that he wants to revolutionize the world we live in. Our generation feel it's really our responsibility to look for a sustainable society in the long-term future. So at the moment, most of the energy we use on, on, on the planet is derived from fossil fuels. So we need a renewable source of energy. Sunlight is, is, the, is the most obvious source. It is enormously abundant and available all over the globe. So essentially the basic idea is we use sunlight as the energy source and use a very abundant material like water to produce a renewable fuel. This ambitious vision is being pursued by Erwin Reisner and an international team of leading scientists. Their target is not to produce quick results, but instead develop a better understanding of the process the team is being supported by OMB. Ich glaube, Sonne steht für Energie. Das ist die größte Energieform, die wir haben auf dieser Erde. Und uh, wenn man hier diese Energie nutzen kann, um hier eine verwendbare Energie in der Mobilität zu erzeugen, ist das sehr wichtig. Und ich glaube, diese Brücken werden hier gebaut. Aber wir reden hier von Dekaden, von vielen, vielen Jahren. Aber es ist wichtig, heute mit dieser Forschung zu beginnen. Essentially, the team is searching for the best possible catalyst an element that breaks the bond between the molecules in the water. Without it, it is impossible to split water into oxygen and hydrogen with sunlight alone. Manuela Gross and her colleagues are focusing their work on iron, nickel and cobalt. Probleme gibt es, dass die Katalysatoren, die effizient genug sind, um großtechnisch in Prozessen eingesetzt zu werden, einfach zu teuer sind um damit zum Beispiel den äh, weltweiten Autobedarf zu decken. Catalysts for use on an industrial scale must therefore become cheaper, more efficient and more stable. Currently, the team is only able to produce hydrogen for a few hours at a time in laboratory conditions. However, if the team is successful, its work could herald the dawn of an energy revolution. Should the project be successful, it would mean we could reduce, almost cut our dependence on fossil fuels. So this means we could reduce carbon dioxide emissions and we could live in a, in a much greener environment. If in a few years our energy is delivered by an environmentally friendly supplier, perhaps it will be thanks to Erwin Reisner and his team as they continue to pursue their goal of making water and the sun the cornerstones of tomorrow's energy supply. <laughs>